Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Vadim. I'm here for another topic, something to think about. That is my channel. I discuss different topics and I base it off the Bible and what's going on in life. Here we go. Today's subject, the World Wide Web. Is the internet a false prophet? Let's find out. Let's take this step by step. World Wide Web. Okay, so the world. We live in the world, right? Everything around us, everything you can see, you can feel, you can touch, you can smell, you can taste, you can communicate with people. We live in this world. We were born into this world and most likely we're all gonna die in this world, right? The Bible says, do not love the world or the things of the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father, the Father is not in him. That means God does not love the people that love the world in, in other sense. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. 1 John 2, 15 through 17. Now, let's keep going. Let's split up the world wide web. The wide, wide. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who go in by it. Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. So which road are you on? The wide one or the narrow one? Matthew 7, 13 and 14. Look it up. Now, let's keep going. The web. Web. It reminds me of a spider's web. Catches you. Spider comes out and it sucks the life out of you. First, it makes sure you can't move, can't get out. I've seen it. Watched a spider eat a fly before. It was pretty interesting, actually. So, it's like a yoke of bondage. Uh, Galatians 5.1, it talks about not being in the yoke of bondage. John 8.32, and you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. Do you want to walk in freedom? Be free from this world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, pride of life. Seek the truth and you'll find it. The world in 1 John 2, 15 through 17 refers to this present temporary evil world system, not the physical universe. The key in the life is the Bible. The door into heaven is Jesus. So, let's switch gears a little bit. Since we're talking about the internet, let's talk about television. For many of you guys, television could be an idol. Actually, in many people's lives, it is an idol. Some have it on all the time, and they can't do anything without having it being on in the background, at least. Is that you? Media is a God for many people. Bible teaches that we must not have any idols. Idolatry. One of the Ten Commandments. Do not have any idols. Do not make any images before God. Do you know the Ten Commandments? Love your God. Be obedient to your parents. Keep the Sabbath day holy. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not commit false, false accusations. Do you know the Ten Commandments? Do you know at least part of them? Do you covet other people's stuff? Do you steal? Do you lie? Do you kill? Maybe not physically, but with words? These are serious commandments. People used to get punished by death. Has God changed? Not at all. God's the same. He's just being gracious enough to let us seek the truth and find Jesus 
God is being gracious to us. So we know that there's good and evil, hate and love, heaven and hell. There's God and then there's Satan. Now Satan wants to destroy us, but God wants us to bring us to him and save us through his son, Jesus Christ. God is holy and wants us to be holy. 1 Peter 1.16 What does it mean to be holy? It means being separate from the world to God. Separation from sin, being righteous, being morally right, doing things correct according to God's standards, not according to the world's standards. So do you know God? Do you know God? Or do you just know about God? Does God know you? Did you know that you can have a close relationship with God? Start to look for Him today. Look for the real truth. Truth that will set you free. Truth from the living Word, the Bible. That is it for today. You guys, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Be blessed.